Nora, would you like to tell us what the topic that you're explaining today is and a little bit about it? Um, the topic I'm explaining today is chickens and why I chose them. One of the reasons is because they are very, they're quite low maintenance and if you have bantams, you have to clip their toes, but that's about all you have to do with them other than cut their wings if you don't want them to fly away. And um, really, they start in egg production on the fifth month of their lives, so you get profit back quite easily. So here's where I have their feeder. It's on a cinder block right now. So it has these little levels so you can take out these little pegs and put it back in in one of the holes to um, to dispense how much food you want. And then you can also hang it up on a string or something. And then over here, um, out that window is their water. I used a empty mineral bin. And then the roofs are kind of just old uh, trellises that broke from something. And then the nest boxes are over this way. As I said in the beginning of this video, bantam chicks are the only ones you need to trim the feet of. Their toenails grow really, really long. This is Blondie. So they also have a size difference in eggs. So these, this is just bantam egg to a regular chicken egg. So this one I have it marked because I am trying to get my banshees to hatch some eggs. I drew on it with marker because pencil kept rubbing off. So I drew a nice heart on there so it doesn't rub off. It kind of just smudges and you can still see a blue stain after it's gone. So why do you have it marked? Um, because this one, mm -hmm. it won't shake that well. I hope it's still fertile. It might have gone bad. I'm really hoping it didn't though. So that's size comparison. This one's like way smaller than the other bantam egg though. And that is why I like chickens. So thank you, Nora, for sharing with us about your farm livestock. And if you guys enjoyed this video or you have any questions, please ask us in the comments below and like and subscribe to our channel. Um, if you do have questions in your comments, we will make sure that the questions get to Nora. So thanks again, Nora.